Right now, we want to turn our focus to decisions affecting schools in Hillsborough and Pasco counties. Tonight, voters chose whether or not proposals to increase millage rates would move forward and raise hundreds of millions of dollars for their school districts. These are the results so far in Hillsborough County as we take a look at them here and neck and neck with a slim margin for a thumbs down. District leaders made a final hour appeal to voters this week, pleading for them to pass the measure. I want to bring in I team investigator Kylie McGivern live in studio with us. Kylie, this is really close, leaning toward not passing. Is this a done deal yet? Well, Jameson and Wendy, as close as this is, it is not done, not yet. So here's what we found out. A machine recount is triggered if the difference is a half percent or less. An important reminder tonight is these are the unofficial results. The Hillsborough County Supervisor of Elections Office tells us they are still counting around 3,500 vote by mail ballots right now. The results are not expected to be certified until Thursday night or Friday morning, we're told. So let's come back to what this means for Hillsborough County Schools. The seventh largest school district in the country says that it would use the funds from the referendum to increase salaries, to retain and recruit teachers and staff. Right now, there are 600 instructional vacancies. Meanwhile, critics have argued now is not the time for another increase as the cost of living continues to climb. The superintendent told us there are hard questions the community has to ask, has to ask itself. Are our students, the parents, are our students having the same quality education as surrounding counties are as they have the ability to attract and retain the best and the brightest every single day? And with an increased millage, you know, we're, we're not able to compete. So it just becomes harder. And this openly is a setback.